For your own safety, we ask that you please not look directly at this radio. So this, for your consideration, is Star Odyssey. It's an Italian knockoff of the Star Wars phenomenon from the 70s. And actually the last of a trilogy that also included a movie called Cosmos and one called uh, War of the Robots. It's not a... Star Odyssey, of course, is Star Wars and 2001 A Space Odyssey, the names combined. Uh, which makes it seem uh, nakedly uh, derivative, but the, that translation is actually uh, probably come up with by a, uh, an American distributor. The, in Italian, the name of the movies is something different. The theme song will haunt your dreams. So, and it's a trilogy, not in the sense that the uh, that the story continues through the three movies, because the three movies are all very different from each other, have different characters, different stories, etc. Uh, but just that they retain the props and sets, and that actually is the classical de definition of a B movie. I'm not sure they supervise the music enough, to tell you the truth. But that you use the same uh, you same use the same props to save money f for multiple movies. Can you come here? There's something happening on our perimeter. An unidentified spaceship has penetrated our defenses. Flanagan, Meyer. Sounds like someone's playing Super Breakout. What's going on? This is Unit P of Reconnaissance. Reporting the sighting of an alien vessel. That's Wessel. A flying saucer. They're maintaining full radio silence. They don't reply to any of our signals. The velocity of their ship is much superior to my craft. I'm sending Johnson out after it and a new hunter. That's the best we can do, sir. Let's just hope he manages to catch it. He can it. try to force it to land, but if they won't, he should return to his launching module. It's possible their intentions are hostile. An indigenous space vehicle of a primitive, chemically propelled design is attempting to force us to reduce velocity. Destroy it. Insert central computer link into defense system circuit. Hurry. Link inserted. Base Hunter A-74 Beta struck and disintegrated by a destructive ray impossible to identify. Alien vessel has passed outer belt perimeter defenses and is now rapidly approaching automatic inner defense ring of Earth. Propellant energy source not yet identified. Automatic system on emergency in tracking and aiming phase. Alien vessel now entering K sector 5. Dog minus 4. In 10 seconds it will be in range of atomic cannon. Man meets an alien race at last and greet them by disintegrating their vessel. Ain't that a bitch. Atomic cannon crossfire now underway. The object has been struck. Commander Barr. Quiet, Hollywood. You are witnessing mankind's first contact with an alien race. Yes. And I'm ready to shake their hands. Alien vessel on damage. What? And proceeding rapidly, direction Earth. Atomic cannons ineffectual. Impossible. This is red emergency all sectors. Zeta 3 ready to open up. At that velocity, they're already beyond Section Zeta-3, and they'll be drawing within range of our hyper-radar any minute now, and the Earth-based artillery. Approaching SOM-3, atmosphere rich in oxygen, breathable with little discomfort, widespread traces of pollution due to chemical combustion and nuclear Do I have waste. to explain everything? Analysis of magnetic and heat radiation reveals technological level approximately equivalent to the Aspis culture 18 centuries ago. Bionic radiation analysis reveals planet population to be approximately 10 billion units. Infrared scanners show that almost all industrial and residential structures are below ground or on the seabed. This appears to be due to the necessity of freeing the surface for agricultural use. There are in addition vast areas of both land and sea dedicated to breeding and raising lower forms of life to serve as nutriment for the higher forms. So three is even better than I thought it was when I bought it. 
There's a lot of stuff in there. Notice the computer said the Earth has 10 million units, a little fear-mongering about overpopulation, which was popular uh, back in the 70s. Of course, we're com today we're coming up on that figure pretty fast, but it's also interesting that everybody's underground and they have to use the surface for, uh, just for agriculture. If they want to show a force, it would be extremely impolite of me to disappoint them. Shit blows up real good for a little while. Just sit back and enjoy. Number zero. Military installations totally destroyed. They're continuing to destroy all our military bases. After they knocked out London, they started on Accra. There are no survivors at Adelaide. And Tokyo Sub says the Okinawa base is just a junkyard. Just take my word for it. The laboratories have nearly finished examining all the available data. But the news has leaked out. In the form of thousands of I huge can't explosions. Hold off much longer. In spite of the lack of official information, the papers are already talking about an invasion. It'll take a miracle to save us now. If anyone can work miracles, Professor Mori can. Professor Mori? Who's he? Excuse me. Mori is a truly exceptional scientist. He has a degree of intelligence that puts him about two centuries ahead of everyone else. passing by here. Why isn't he working with us? Because he's too independent, stubborn, and undisciplined. He won't accept any kind of authority. But in a situation like this, he's the only person who can do anything. Why not get in touch with him? The problem is Pardon that my me. relationship with the professor could not be described as ideal. Excuse me. The last time I asked for his help, he was so difficult to get along with, I had to arrest him. He can't have liked that. Quite. At the moment, the only person he might listen to is a young lieutenant, Oliver Carrera. Ah, Hollywood. Land of exposition. That fellow who acts as if he were a superstar in a TV series called Fighting Hero of the Galaxy. Him, the only one who could possibly help. Holly spends most of his spare time in the professor's. As a young niece, he's playing up to. Hmm. Professor Mori lives at the ecology laboratory on the cereal range. He lives in a laboratory? He the time, turning out inventions that are incredible. Like the Fat Master. Flanagan, I can't hold these reporters back anymore. Don't worry. I'll take care of that howling mob. That howling mob? You have to go on a very important mission. God, I thought that was another planet for a second. A ragtag fugitive fleet. Inferium. The alien craft is protected with an armor of pure Inferium. That's impossible. What makes it impossible, dear? Yum. Just because we on Earth only have a kilo of Inferium? But we know nothing about conditions prevailing on the alien galaxy. Can you be on a Earth galaxy? Has a lot of iron, and their planet might be made of Inferium. But, Uncle, Inferium is practically indestructible. And their spaceship is proof. That I haven't read the script. Our nuclear artillery didn't even scratch the surface. Evidently, the enemy craft has traveled from a far corner of the universe over a vast distance in order to arrive here. It's not surprising they managed to swat down that ridiculous insect of a space hunter <laughs> the command post sent to greet them. That was oh, a good one. You really shouldn't laugh like that. Our planet may be in very serious danger. Oh, I'm not laughing about it at all, Irene. My dear, these aliens have several centuries' advantage over us. They travel out of space, through the galaxies, while we are unable to get any farther than the planets of our own sun. They possess an untold quantity of Inderium. And in all probability, consider us savages. Hardly worth bothering about. With their tiny collars. Technologically, they may be ahead of us, but I think that... Just a minute. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for thinking. They're barbarians. They don't place any sort of value on human life. But you're forgetting how the white man behaved towards the Negro. And the American Indian is the most powerful race which makes the decision as to who's civilized and who's not. And I'm afraid we'll have to accept our inferiority and submit to the inevitable. And the spankings. He always has trouble deciding which bong to use. Inferior. I never would have imagined that I'd have to go back to my research on Inderium. 